The Pashtun, also known as Patans or Puktuns, are an Iranian-speaking ethnic group native primarily to Afghanistan and northwestern Pakistan, with significant diasporas across South and Central Asia. They number around 50 to 60 million people worldwide, making them one of the largest tribal societies in the world. Historically, the Pashtun have played a central role in the politics and empires of the greater Afghan region. The earliest known Pashtun polities emerged during the Ghazanavid and Ghurid empires, 10th to 13th centuries AD, when many Pashtun tribes served as military elites and administrators. However, it was in the 16th century that the Pashtun began to establish their own powerful states. The most notable among these was the Hotak Empire, 1709 to 1738, founded by Mirwais Hotak in Kandahar, who successfully rebelled against Safavid Persian rule and created a short-lived Afghan kingdom stretching across present-day Afghanistan and Iran. Following the fall of the Hotaks, Ahmad Shah Durrani, a member of the Sadazai clan of the Durrani tribe, established the Durrani Empire, 1747 to 1826, often regarded as the foundation of the modern Afghan state. Under his rule, the empire expanded to include all of modern Afghanistan, Pakistan, eastern Iran, and northern India. Ahmad Shah Durrani, known as Ahmad Shah Baba, father of the nation, unified the Pashtun tribes and led successful campaigns into India, capturing Delhi in 1761 after the famous Third Battle of Panipat. For this video, I've gathered the raw genomes of 14 ethnic Pashtun from the Human Origins dataset. They come from Pakistan. I used academic tools, such as AdmixTools 1 and 2, but also tools I developed myself, such as Trait Predictor, BetaCalc, and Mageplot to analyze these genomes. According to this Bronze Age pattern breakdown, the most significant ancestry component in Pashtun is the Indus Valley component, however, they also have sizable Syntashta contribution at 19%, East Eurasian contribution at roughly 2%, and Israelite contribution at roughly 6.5%. The Sintashta component likely entered their genetics during the Late Bronze Age, the Amur River component likely entered their genetics during the Turkic Migration Period, and the Israelite component likely appeared during the Iron Age Assyrian conquest of Israel. Now one might argue that some of this Israelite component is simply a proxy for excess Middle Eastern admixture that Pashtun have aside from the Indus Valley and Steppe. I made another model to account for the West Asian admixture present in early Iranics of the Yaz culture. As you can see here, even on a model with the Yaz culture, which itself has contributions from the Middle East, the Pashtun score a non-trace amount of Israelite. According to FST analysis computed with Admixtols 2, the Pashtun cluster tightly with the Sindhis of Pakistan, Tajiks, Baloch, the Bahuns of Nepal, Uzbeks, and Turks. The ethnicities furthest from the Pashtun are the Denisova, Native Americans, Aboriginal Australians, and Africans. I used my mageplot tool to construct a phylogenetic tree using an FST matrix generated by Admixtols 1. According to this phylogenetic tree, the Pashtun cluster closely with high steppe Gujaratis. The high AASI Gujaratis make a tight cluster with South Indian Brahmins. Tajiks and Baloch fall in the vaguely South Central Asian subcluster, which also includes the Pashtun. Europeans and Middle Easterners make their own cluster. Armenians and Persians fall in the Middle Eastern subcluster, while Europeans cluster tightly with one another. Interestingly, both the Asians and the Europeans fall in one big West Eurasian cluster, which is separate from South Indian Irala. This would suggest that even South Indian Brahmin are closer to Europeans than they are to the Irala. I used my Mageplot Divergent Population Modeling tool to approximate the ancestral components that make up Pashtun. What my tool does, is it identifies divergent populations in a set of populations and models the rest using divergent groups as sources. According to this plot, the Pashtun can be modeled as 62% Brahmin together with 22% Estonian and 16% Armenian. Here the Armenian is acting as a proxy for both excess West Asian that was present in South Central Asia and the additional Israelite that is found in the Pashtun. As you can see, high step Gujaratis do not score any Armenian here, scoring squarely Estonian and Brahmin. It is obvious that in this plot, Estonian is acting as a proxy for steppe and Brahmin as a proxy for Indus Valley ancestry. Here's a divergent populations model with much more populations added. Let's compare the Pashtun to Tajiks and high steppe Gujarati. The core components in these populations are the same, Lithuanians and Bahun. The Lithuanian component is a proxy for steppe and the Bahun component is a proxy for Indus Valley ancestry. As you can see, 
High Step Gujaratis score 67% of the Bahun component, with the Tajik scoring 45 and Pashtun scoring 56%. Regarding this component, the Pashtun falls squarely in between High Step Gujaratis and Tajiks. Now let's look at the Lithuanian contribution. The Pashtun score 35% of this component, while the High Step Gujaratis score 28% and Tajik score 55%. The Pashtun once again score intermediate between the Tajiks and Gujaratis. However, there are component Pashtun score that Tajiks and Gujaratis don't. For example, the Bedouin component, which Pashtun score 2% of. It is absent in Tajiks and the Gujarati have less of it than the Pashtun do. In the case of Gujarati, it is likely present due to Middle Eastern admixture from the Middle Ages. The Pashtun also score 7.5% of the Sardinian component, which is once again absent among the Tajiks and is present at a much lower scale in the Gujaratis. I think that this combination of Sardinian and Bedouin is sign of Israelite ancestry. I ran these 14 samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. The most common predicted Y lineage was R1A, but the Middle Eastern E1B was also present. Two samples carried the Jewish G2 lineage. The most common predicted phenotypes were Alpinid and South Asian types. Eye colors ranged from hazel to dark brown. Hair colors ranged from dark brown to black. Hair textures ranged from straight to kinky. Nose shapes were mostly Greek with three samples being strongly Greek. Most samples were predicted to be slightly taller than average. Male pattern baldness was prevalent. The Pashtun had typical odds of Tourette's, typical odds of depression, low odds of bipolar type 1, and relatively low odds of autism. The Pashtun scored low for empathy, most were likely lactase persistent, and the Pashtun had average odds of allergies. The Pashtun scored low for odds of hemoglobin E disease. Five samples carried risk variants for blue-yellow colorblindness in the OPN1SW gene. Only one sample carried risk variants for autoimmune disease in the HLA gene. The Pashtun scored low for odds of atrial fibrillation, average for odds of cardiovascular issues, high for the levels of bad LDL cholesterol, and low for the levels of good HDL cholesterol. The Pashtun scored high for odds of type 2 diabetes, high for the predicted levels of glucose, but low for the odds of obesity and syncope. 10 of the 14 Pashtun carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in the JRK2 gene. This is a very high rate and trumps basically every other population I've made videos on. Every single sample carried risk variants for testicular cancer in the KITLG gene. One of the 14 samples carried risk variants for hemochromatosis in the HFE gene. This was somewhat expected, as hemochromatosis is a condition most prevalent in Western Europe and is very rare in Pakistan and Afghanistan. The most common blood type among these samples was likely A and B. You can purchase these samples in 23 and me format from the link in description. There, you will also find links to my products and services.